Hi there, let's think about uh, using ADAS analysis just to help illustrate the multiplier effect. So the multiplier effect happens when an initial change in one or more components of aggregate demand, it could be from consumers, businesses or the government, leads to a larger, final, more widespread, bigger impact on the economy's GDP or national income. The multiplier effect illustrates how changes in spending can create a ripple effect throughout the economy, generating additional rounds of economic activity. When somebody increases their spending, the recipients of that spending then have more income, which they in turn spend on goods and services. So this creates additional demand, which can then prompt businesses to increase, expand production, hire more workers, resulting in more higher factor incomes. So using ADS analysis, here's an initial rise, for example, in exports or maybe a fiscal stimulus and increase in government spending, shifting AD from AD1 to AD2. So the initial rise in government spending, for example, could lead to an expansion of national output from Y1 to Y2. But with a multiplier effect, the final effect could be bigger. You might end up at an equilibrium of Y3 instead of Y2. And this is the idea that uh, the second and third round effects, one person's spending is somebody else's income. And so, for example, a £2 billion increase in government spending might lead to a final change in GDP of somewhere close to two and a half or £3 billion because of the multiplier effect. Now, this is just a simple use of ADAS analysis to illustrate that the final impact of a, a rise in G or a rise in exports or investment uh, can be bigger than the initial impetus. The multiplier effect does depend on the ability of the economy to expand production, which in turn is a reflection of the aggregate supply curve elasticity. So in this situation here, I've drawn short and aggregate supply as perfectly elastic, and the multiplier effect is likely to be high because the increase in output can happen fairly quickly and easily without there being an increase in inflationary pressure. Whereas if you have an inelastic short and aggregate supply, then it's more difficult for production to expand to meet a rising level of AD. So price in prices would tend to go up as a result, and uh, it could be a consequential rise in interest rates, for example, or fall in real incomes, which dampens down, it reduces the size of the multiplier effect. So there we go, a quick look at how you can use ADS analysis, maybe just to help illustrate your argument if you're talking about the multiplier.